Hi. Good evening. Is the finished class. The last class. Oh, okay. Last class. <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay. Hi, good evening, Marielos. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Hi, thanks. It's good. Hi, good evening, Milton. Good evening, Mike. Good evening. How are you? How are you doing? Hi, thanks. How about you? Very, very nice. Oh, uh, a little uh, hot. The the weather is very hot. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Nice. And that is very hot. Oh, okay. But Hello. Happy. Happy. Hello. Uh, is there? Hello, guys. Hello, really? teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Thank you. And you? Yeah. I'm really good. Are you happy because you finished the module free advance number two? Uh, yes. Happy. Happy for the finish, but uh, <laughs> I will be very happy at that you are in the in the next module. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I will be very happy too. But we never know. We never know. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Hey, what happened, teacher? No, fingers crossed that we are in the next in the next module together, right? That will be very, very good. Um, no, teacher, I don't know. you you look. Teacher, you look is very very happy. What happened this day? I look happy. Yes. Yeah. Maybe it's because today <laughs> I only have classes in the morning and I didn't have any other classes in the afternoon. So maybe I, uh, I'm a little bit relaxed today. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's good for you. Okay. Yeah. Good thing you noticed. I didn't know my face was happy. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's that um, I only had classes in the morning and then I didn't have any classes in the afternoon. So I had a time to relax. And this is my, this is my second class after the morning, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm good. Okay. And I'm happy also because it's the last class and then we're going to have like four days or I, I hope we only have a couple days off because I never like when it, there's too much time and we have to wait a long time because then when we come back, sometimes we don't want to come back or we forget some things, right? So I hope that we start pretty soon the next module. I really hope so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So now guys, I, we are only, I wanna see, six people, six people. So you're only six. I don't know what happened with your classmates, but we have to start. Before we start, I have to ask you, did you finish the platform? Yeah. Yeah, Marielos, you finished? Yeah. Yeah, I I'm finished. finished the Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Fin okay. I finished. Okay. Because today they will send, no, tomorrow they will send the report to in support, I will believe, and then they will uh, ask for Closed. your paperwork. Did did they already send you the message asking for your paperwork for the documents? They did they ask for yes. the documents? Yeah, yeah. I'm I, sorry I, about paperwork means papeleo, paperwork. Okay. Yeah. So if they ask you for your documents already, yeah. Yeah, they, they asked uh, last week. Last week, okay. And did yes. you send them already? What? Did you send them already? Uh, yeah, the, my company. Oh, yeah, your company, your company, yeah. okay. But they asked me if 
I will continue. Huh? I'm going to continue today. And you say you will continue? Yeah. Okay, perfect, Maria Luz. Okay, perfect. And who else is going to continue? Miguel, are you going to continue? I can continue, teacher. Perfect, very good. And Glenda, are you going to? No, you won't. No, you won't. Why? No, Miss. Uh, I, I didn't send the documents. Why? Mm -hmm. mm, because I didn't know the date for send them and my job can pay it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to I'm going to wait a scholarship. Are you gonna wait for the scholarship? Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you, Glenda. Thank you very much. Thanks for no, all. But, no, but the scholarships are hmm, I think we only have to wait like I don't know. They told me that in May, maybe we're gonna have scholarships. I don't know, but something some somewhere around that. Yeah. Okay. And Marcos, are you going to continue? Yes, Miss. Yes. yes, perfect. Nancy? Only I, I, I don't Hello. have the paperwork. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We will wait for them to send it. Yes, paperwork. Nancy, I'm sorry. Are you going to continue in the classes? Next Hello. module? Yes, teacher. I'm going to continue. I send the documents. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Yes. And then we only have bodies. Bodies, are you going to continue? Yes, I am. Perfect. And Milton? Yeah, Milton, I'm guessing yes, right? Yes, teacher, of course. <laughs> Perfect, Milton. That's the attitude. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. To the people that haven't received the, the message asking for the paperwork, um, maybe you can send a message to the person. Who, who sent you the message last module. Maybe they forgot to send you the paperwork and you can send it. I think you can, I think you can still send it. We will have to figure that out, but I'm guessing, yeah, that, that you will have the inscriptions. Sometimes we have to wait for scholarships and the time we wait for scholarships is like, I don't know, it's one, sometimes one month, a month, sometimes but the scholarships are always there so hopefully we're going to have scholarships pretty soon um and we don't have to wait a long time right very good now we're going to start uh we're going to continue with the topic we finished well, we didn't finish yesterday we're going to continue with the topic it's a little bit about predictions because you can do it with will plus base form but you can also do it with other ones i want to show you now and then um, we're, we are going to complete the exam, the final exam together. So we see if you ask for the answers to your classmates <laughs> or if you did it uh, yourselves. So that's what we're going to do in this moment. So, but to finish, just to finish the last part, we're gonna watch the last video that is in the platform that is about predicting the future with Will. Yesterday we were speaking about, uh, so for example, I think the virus will continue. Okay, remember that when we talk about will, uh, we're gonna use will and then the base form of the verb. And that's talk, making a prediction with will. But also we have not, like other structures we can use with will. So for example, we'll be going, we'll be going to something, we'll have, completed something like that so let's let's just watch this video and then we're gonna have some time to make questions and make examples as well uh, let me share the audio because i have to share the audio share the audio there we go ready to predict the future with me we will do so by using will won't future continuous and future perfect don't forget to study and practice with a friend. Predicting the future with will. Use will 
to predict future events or situations. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Use future continuous to predict ongoing actions. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Use future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness. By 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. There are many ways to describe the future in English. This time we will go over three future tenses. Number one, will, won't, plus base verb. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Number two, future continuous. Will be, plus present participle. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Robots will be performing most factory jobs. Number three, future perfect. We'll have plus past participle. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure of baldness. By the 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. It is important for you to know that future continuous describes an ongoing action and future perfect describes something that will be completed by a specific time. Note, future perfect needs a date or time of completion, for example, within 20 years, by 2025. Let's Okay, so we are looking here at three ways to uh, predict in the future, or actually three ways about talking the future. The first way we talk about the future is using will or want. I told you yesterday, want is the abbreviation for will not, it's the negative form of will. And then, this is the most important part here, the verb needs to go in the base form with will or want. If you're only using those two, the next verb needs to go in the base form. As you can see here, will recognize, recognize. This one is in the base form. It's talking about in the future, computers will recognize any voice command you want. And as you can see, the next verb is in the base form, need a keyboard. So this is what we have here. Then we have the future continuous. The future continuous, it's here, so you can see, will be. Remember, like the present continuous is I am speaking English. So it's the verb, subject, verb be, and then the main verb in the ing form, right? Like the gerund. Here it's a mistake. It shouldn't say present participle, it should say gerund. Gerund or ing form. Yeah, okay. So that's the way then it needs to be. Will be plus gerund or ing form. As you can see here, for example, will, then be, of course, you're going to use will be. And then the following verb, it's with ing, it's in the gerund form. So people will be living in cities under the ocean. Then robots will be, like we're talking about the future continuous, performing most factory jobs. Now, for the next part we have here, it says future perfect. Do you remember the present perfect? Do you remember the present perfect, guys? Yes. What is the present perfect? We use the auxiliary verb have and the verb in past participle. Perfect. Also, we use this. Thank you, Mar Thank you, Marielos. Thank you very much. Uh, we use uh, present perfect to talk about uh, experiences. Sometimes we talk about experiences. For example, I have traveled. Then. Now, with the future perfect, we're going to use the same structure, have plus the past participle of the verb. 
But at the beginning, we're going to use will because we're talking about the future always. And usually, guys, with the future perfect, we're going to need a time. So you will need to write a time. Wait a second. I heard some barking dogs in the end. Okay, in the background. Perfect. So you will need um, a time. So for example, within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldnesses. Baldness, sorry, baldness. Then you can do this um, sentence the opposite. For example, scientists will be will have discovered a cure for baldness within 20 years. It doesn't matter if the time is at the beginning or at the end, but it has to have a time with future perfect. Then the last example we have there, it says, well, in this case, the first one it's telling you that within 20 years, so no more than 20 years, this will happen. And the other one is telling you by what year, exactly by what year this is going to happen. So by the 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. 2050, am I going to be alive in the 2050? How old am I going to be in the 2050? I'm going to be 56 years. Yeah, I'm going to be 66 by 2050. Maybe I will see this, or maybe we will destroy the planet Earth <laughs> and nobody will exist anymore, right? Maybe, who knows? So, but if we can talk about predictions, okay? Predictions about yourselves, predictions about El Salvador, predictions about anything, we can use these three, three structures that we're looking here right now. For example, this is my example. You can do yours. For the first uh, example, I will say, I will, I will have kids in five years. This, this is just a prediction. I don't know. I don't want. <laughs> then want. Want is, for example, um, cars won't use gasoline anymore. That will be a good one, right? Cars won't use or need gas gasoline anymore. Maybe they will use electricity. Have you ever seen the Tesla cars? Yes. Yeah, the Tesla cars are cars that they, they can even drive themselves. And they have to have a specific uh, specific setups, but they can drive themselves. Future continues. And this one will be talking about will, the something that is going to be happening in the future. For example, I can say, um, you will be starting classes in a few days. You see, you will be starting classes in a few days. This is a prediction that I would like it to be like that. Then another prediction can be, you will be starting with me in the next module, right? That's a good prediction. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It's... Yes, of course. Then we have the future perfect to talk about the future as well and to make predictions. And I can say within two years, this is a wishful thinking. You know what is wishful? Do you know the meaning of wishful, wishful thinking? Wishful thinking? Hmm? No? Wishful thinking is like un pensamiento bien esperanzador que tengo, but maybe it's not wishful is like es como muy, muy lleno de esperanza, pero no puede ser tal vez. Yeah. So wishful like thinking. Like a miracle. <laughs> like a miracle, wishful thinking, very wishful thinking. So for example, I will say within two years, the price of the gasoline will have dropped, right? Price will have dropped and it will be like $2 a gallon. That will be, that's just wishful thinking, wishful thinking. <laughs> and then another one can be by, 2040 will we will have understood yeah, understood i think is the, the bus body school that the environment needs our help and we're going to be progressing with the environment 
that's just wishful thinking, okay? Again, I want you to make three future, three future uh, predictions. No, four future predictions using the structures we have here. With, want, will be, and will have, okay? And send them here to the chat. I will be waiting for your answers. You see, I will be waiting for your answers. This one, present and future continuous. I will be waiting for your answers. If you can, guys, please send the three sentences together. But yeah, yeah, good job, Ernesto. I wish I was. Well, yeah, we will have vacation the Holy Week, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Italian. Wow, another language. In 10 years, I want, remember that you can use the structure want instead of will not, won't have to work anymore. <clears throat> I won't be flying in the Spirit Airlines for my next vacation. Yes, yes. Don't fly with Spirit Airlines. Well, if you want a cheap fly, Spirit is the one, but it's uncomfortable. I will finish my English classes this year. Yeah, hopefully we all are going to. I will have worked, I will have worked in the company 17 years by next year. Wow. Wow, guys, your, your, your statements are really good. The Tesla autos will be more accessible for the next year. Maybe by next year, maybe it, instead of saying for next year, say by next year. Yeah, maybe. And um, I think there will be more Tesla cars in El Salvador because today I think there's only one. I think it's only one. When I see you next time, I won't be afraid of you. Are you afraid of me right now? <laughs> My family will be cooking torrejas on the weekend. Yes, torrejas, the traditional food for Holy Week, right? 
You know something? This is something that is going to be crazy, but I have never tried to rehearse in my whole life. I've never, I don't know. Like I have never tried to rehearse. I don't know. In two months, I will be going. <gasps> really, Gavi? Wow, that's so cool. To the concert. Yes, wow, that's amazing. I didn't know where they, they when they were selling the tickets. I tried to buy for the Bad Bunny one, <laughs> but I couldn't. <laughs> I will go into the Bad Bunny, but I... I can go. <laughs> you will you will go to the Batwani concert? No, I won't. Yeah, me neither. I wish I was just wishful thinking. <laughs> you will work every day. My sister won't come back to El Salvador. To El Salvador. We will be in pupusas in the weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend. But yeah. Domingo. The pupusas. Next weekend, I will be going to the beach. Mi daughter, no, my daughter, my MY, my daughter, will be playing volleyball tomorrow. Wow, you're so fancy, guys. My classmate will be running for a competition this year. In the next year, will cash a big meteorite in the Atlantic Ocean, maybe 2027. Oh, my goodness. Sirhan, this example is so like catastrophic. Why are you saying it's something maybe, like it's maybe it's maybe maybe, maybe. crash and, and you want to say crash next will crash a big meteorite meteorite in the Atlantic Ocean. Mm, no, hopefully it will not. Sirhan, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that, please, Sirhan. It's only five years away. I'm still young. <laughs> Cancer will be eradicated. Maybe. I hope so. Sales will own people showing holograms. Okay. Sales will own people. We will phone people showing holograms. Yeah, maybe like in Star Wars, like the holograms, right? By the 2070, many cars will have flown. We'll go, okay, we'll, yeah, we'll fly. We'll be able to fly. Milton, very good. I hope I will be living in another country next year. Ooh, that's good. I will have retired in five years. I wish, and I'm just starting to work and I wish I can retire right now. <laughs> we will go to the beach next weekend. Um, COVID-19 will be eliminated, eliminating, at least in two years. In Holy Week, I will visit my best friend in San Vicente. In Holy Week, I will visit my best friend in San Vicente again. Okay, now I want you to go to the breakout rooms. This is just conversation practice <clears throat> because we have been writing but not speaking. So it's time for you to speak and we're gonna go to the breakout rooms and I want you to speak with Will about the activities you think you will do for the Holy Week, okay? Let's try to talk about our vacation. If you're going to work, try to, <laughs> try to mention a few things that maybe you will do for the Holy Week if you weren't working, okay? Let's see. This is my first Holy Week that I'm gonna have vacations since I started working, my first one. There we go.
Marcos, what happened? Sorry, Miss, I have a problem with the internet connection. Okay, okay. Because I drive a motorcycle. Oh, okay. So, but I'm gonna send you to a breakout room. Your classmates were just speaking about the activities they will do for the Holy Week, okay? Sorry, Miss, I get out of the class.
where 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 practice this this hobby animals like uh, well, it is very interesting yeah. Well, Ernesto, in the field, yeah. it's a hobby, but at the same time, you can get something to it. Go ahead. Yes, well, Go ahead. Uh, you are hunting in the field. Hello. Yeah, it should. And yeah. uh, um, uh, let's see. Go ahead. Ah, oh, Ernesto, where do you where? Your parents live live. I I hear that you you have hey. to move or you have to travel. Oh no. Uh, they, they live they live in a yeah, they live in a in a city called the uh, Bisaya in Awacha Prime. That's the place oh, when I was born. I, yeah, I left up. In the what about you, Glenda? I told you. <laughs> in the Hollywood. No me pones atención. I don't know how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> repeat, 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 please, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, repeat. <laughs> okay. I will listen to my friend in the sense. Glenda, yes? Glenda, is a, I, I interference, I, 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 I hearing no, no good for you, I interfering the TV. Okay, uh, now mm -hmm. is is very easy. Ah, okay. Now is clear. Good. Okay. I'm going to visit my best friend in San Vicente, and then I'm going to visit my uncle in San Francisco Gotera. Mm -hmm. I don't have more plans. Okay, no, no. okay, uh, um, the Hollywood. So far, and I have so, I, I have fun, and I ate a lot. So mm -hmm. I, 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 sorry, what? I never go the uh, festival, but I, I, Eating is so good, but the yeah. food the is a lot of type of food that the people invent, invent and create that. with hocote. So interesting because uh, I will have I will eat the pupusas de hocote. <laughs> Sí, yes. <laughs> and pizza, the hocote, hocote yeah. pizza. Yeah. It's so interesting. Maybe I will see you. Maybe too. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're sending your WhatsApp <laughs> for yeah. the location. Oh. <laughs>
your classmates don't want to come to the main class, they are speaking about the Holy Week. Hello. So I heard in the breaker rooms that you even exchange WhatsApp numbers so you can agree on something for the Holy Week. <laughs> You're making plans together for the Holy Week already. Yes. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. You're gonna be doing stuff together. Perfect. That's good. That's the that's that's the attitude. Okay, I for Holy Week, I always think that all the places are really, really, really full of people, right? Like the beach or even the mountain. You know, here in Usulután, there's a famous pueblito called Alegría. I don't know if you've heard about it. So Alegría. When it's the Holy Week, oh my God, it's so full of people. It, there's a lot of people there. And there's you can a lagoon. <laughs> there's a lagoon, exactly. There's the lagoon. And the, all the people want to go to Alegria. And they, there are lines, like really long, 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 long lines in the cars waiting to get to Alegria because it's a really, really small town. And all the people want to go there. So for the Holy Week, I like to stay home. I like to concentrate on myself. Because if I go out, there's going to be a lot of people. And something, guys, maybe you don't remember, but we still are in a pandemic. <laughs> we're not in quarantine, but we're still in a pandemic, right? When, teacher, teacher, yeah. when we will be on, on vacation, I'm, I'm going to remember on teacher. <laughs> I going... will be remembered, yes. Why? About, the... <laughs> about you, about you are talking about. About the, the alegría and stuff for the, the pandemic? <laughs> yes, for the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, I The remember. teacher said, the teacher said. <laughs> exactly, exactly. The teacher said that there's still a pandemic out there. And we have to be careful, right? We have to be very careful. But guys, you can see in the environment, environment that already is, is about to be Holy Week because it's really hot, right? Yeah. Really, really. So hot. really like, hot. Very, I'm, very hot. I'm sweating a lot right now. And like, it's, uh, I don't like it. Sleeping in a hammock so in Berlin. Ah, uh, sleeping in a hammock in Berlin, exactly. Yes. <gasps> that would be so cool right now. It's I'm very thinking, nice. I'm thinking about investing in an AC. You know, in the past, guys, having an air conditioner in your house was a luxury, right? In the past was a luxury. But now I don't think it's a luxury anymore. Now I think it's as a necessity more than a luxury. For example, like, the the weather right now it's unbearable unbearable it's like i cannot deal with the weather right now i have a big window a really big window open here in my house and i have the the fan but i don't have it directly because sometimes it interferes with the microphone but i'm still sweating it's so hot so we know that it's about to be the holiday week anyhow well <laughs> we're about to finish right now and we're not going to do the review of the final exam because of the time, but I heard you were speaking a lot in the breakout rooms and I didn't want to interrupt that. And the final exam, you finished it already. I just want to clarify right now, did everybody, everybody here finish the final exam on the whole platform? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Remember that you have to have at least an 80% to pass the course. Then if you don't have an 80%, then you will have to go back, I guess, or they will tell you something. That has never happened to me. But yeah, you have to complete that for um, like in order to go to the next module. Now, before we go, I just wanna do a, re uh, a, a quick reading that you have this in the platform. I'm, I'm guessing you read it already, but I'm just gonna read it for you, okay? Pay attention to the pronunciation and obviously the the intonation. Let me see because I'm not blind, but these letters. Okay. The global village. Village. Scan the article. What does the term global village mean? 
More and more often, the term global village is used to describe the world and its people. In most villages, everyone knows everyone else and the people face the same kinds of problems. So how can the world be a village when it is home to more than 6 billion people? Well, 6 billion people in the past, guys. Now I think we're like, what about 7 billion or something like that. Um, century, blah, 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 blah. What is it? For less, maybe because the COVID. Maybe. No, but people still have a lot of kids. <laughs> but people are in, in the pandemic. Yeah, but yeah. people are still having a lot of kids. I don't know why, maybe. but they still are. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Political and technological changes in the past century have made the global village possible. Political changes. The years following World War II seem to be promising peace. In fact, in 1945, the United Nations was founded to help countries resolve disputes peacefully. However, this, prom this promise, promise was soon broken by the Cold War. Distrust and tension between the United States and the Soviet Union, Russia. These two superpowers engage in arms race, spending huge amounts of money on weapons. The other nations of the world were divided in two sides, and the world was frozen in a state of hostility. The Cold War finally ended, and the political climate changed between 1989 and 1991, when the, government, when the government of the Soviet Union and several Eastern European countries collapsed. The end of Cold War tension made the global village more political possible by opening new chan channels of communication between nations. Technological changes. Technologically, the greatest contributor to the global village is the mi microchip, an electronic circuit of a tiny chip. The evolution of the microchips has made modern satellites and supercomputers possible. These forms of high tech communications allow news and ideas to travel quickly across the globe making people more aware of their neighbors around the world in dramatic new ways. Through the internet, we can get information from computers and carry on electronic conversations with people everywhere. Well, with computers and with phones, right? Through television programs transmitted by satellite, we are exposed to many cultures. The development of the global village will almost certainly continue into the future. Not only is this probable, but the challenges that the world faces, for example, conflicts among, among people, people, pollution and population growth will make it necessary. Did you know guys? Well, obviously you know, you know more than me. That in the past, my grandma says that in the past, to know or to realize about a situation, there were weeks and weeks and weeks before you realized about it. For example, if the pop, you know what is the pop? Who is the pop? You know who is the pop, no? The papa? So if the pop died, you will be like thinking that the pop will be the same one. And a month later, you will realize that the pop have died because never, nobody knew that he, he died because he died in Rome and we're here in El Salvador. So nobody knew. For example, for the wars, the war, war one and World war two, people didn't realize about it at the beginning. They realized about it later, later in the time because communication was really, how can I say this? Really, not really something like maybe in letters or telegrams. That's what they were using, right? Not something to communicate as fast as we do right now. And also, uh, now we have the met metaverse. Do you know what is the metaverse? 
we're about to enter the metaverse. The metaverse is like Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram. And Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg wants, yeah. to, wants to build a simulation. So a world where we live and we have or like Googles and we can see everywhere around and we can meet with yeah. people in another world, in another world. I mean, <laughs> well, maybe in the future that's gonna be possible, but in another country. Did you know about that? Yeah. Yeah? And do you think that's a good idea or not a good idea? What do you think about it? A good idea. Hmm? Nobody? It's a good idea. <laughs> it's a good idea, right? It's gonna make it's gonna make communication easier, right? That's something that it's gonna make. It's gonna make communication easier. But only one thing: don't forget to pay attention to the people who are living in your in your house, because maybe in the internet we can lose our minds. But we have people in our house as well, right? <laughs> okay, guys, so it's time to go already. I'm sorry, but it's time to go. So I will see you maybe in the next module. If I don't see you, it was my pleasure to be with you. But if I see you, I hope to see you, okay? It's going to be you, really good. Sarah. Okay. Thank have you. a good, Thanks for have long. a good whatever. Thanks. And I will see you when I <laughs> no, see you, okay? Nice to meet Thanks, you, teacher. Okay, nice Very to meet good. you guys. Bye-bye. Maybe you will see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.